Hey guys, good morning. Happy weekend. I have the whole weekend off, which is always nice because I'm exhausted from the week. We have our new fridge here. I will link it below. It is, a, I almost said Samsung. It's an LG something or other. We got it for a really, really great deal because it normally is was like 2100 right baby? Like 2200 we um, were going to buy it from Home Depot, got it from Lowe's for $1,900, and then they dented it when they brought it. Very, very tiny dent. Nothing like, I don't even know, where is it? Right here. I don't even know that you'll really be it there. You can kind of see it right there. Very, very tiny. They gave us $500 off for the dent. So we took it and ran. Kind of stinks because it's, of course it's brand new so we didn't we wanted it to be in perfect condition but it's fine um and the old fridge is now in the garage next to our very big freezer that i cannot find online for some reason like these big stand-up freezers but this is our kenmore elite stand-up freezer it's you guys have seen it before it's kind of dirty Right now, I actually need to completely clean it out and thaw it out or defrost it. It doesn't need to be, but I want to give it a good deep clean. So we're trying to like go through what we have in here so there's not really a whole lot. And then our old Samsung fridge is out here. It's unplugged because it was leaking like crazy. I mean, it's plugged in, right? So there's like stuff in it. Um, but the water and everything is not plugged in anymore because it was leaking. Every time we opened it up, it was leaking. And we had tried unplugging the water or disconnecting, not unplugging, disconnecting the water inside and it still was just leaking, leaking, leaking. So we completely took out the ice. It's over there. The ice maker container, like on the rest, just completely ripped it out. So the fridge was not... I mean, it's still usable, but it just kept going in and out. And then the bottom is freezing, thawing, freezing, thawing. So we just have bread and stuff in there. So nothing crazy. But yeah, it's still a perfectly good fridge. It just wasn't functional for our day-to-day -day groceries. So out here it is. And for $1,400, we got a brand new, beautiful inside fridge with a little tiny dent. And then this one is the one I was showing you guys in store. 12.50? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So, and look, this is the one that makes, this is all the balls it's made, baby, or you've already dumped one? No. I think there was like three this morning. No, but oh, okay, yeah, I know, but that's all that it's made so far. You haven't dumped it. This one, I think, is ready to be dumped. And then here is the inside of the freezer. This is how we have it, and then this is how we have the fridge so far, which I have not decided if I want to get different organizers and different I don't I haven't decided because it definitely is a little bit smaller and laid out differently than the Samsung and it beeps super early which is annoying but it's fine it was a good deal <laughs> that's all we could say Maddie made breakfast she made eggs she made migas actually all by herself I sat on the couch and walked her through it and we had track practice this morning how'd it go it was good how much did you run? One mile and I think like... One Almost two seven. miles. Yeah. yeah. So, she was super excited. Um, we're picking up cookies in a little while. And of course, it can't be beautiful. Yesterday was beautiful outside. And we were all stuck inside all day. And today, windy, chilly. I'm like, ugh, what the heck? Okay, so we're at Costco. I literally just got done talking about how I wasn't planning on coming to Costco anytime soon. But here we are. <laughs> we're actually looking for a table. I don't know if they have anything, but last, this Costco is bigger than the one that's closer to our house. And sometimes they have like furniture pieces. But I don't see an actual table because ever since we, New Year's, 
we broke one of the chairs so we're down I don't know if I don't even know if I've shown it but we have a metal chair at I feel like they have but that's an outdoor table we have a metal chair where Autumn's sitting and so we have it kind of pieced together it's nothing like anything fancy so yeah they had a table here this is not it I don't see it anymore though so oh well we're gonna go to Ashley furniture and oh my gosh look at this huge squishmallow <laughs> holy moly that's a huge one they have all of their summer stuff out it looks like and it's super busy right now super busy so I'm waiting for Andres he went to the bathroom and yeah we got to visit with my grandma a little bit she's been going through a little bit of a rough time so that was nice to be able to visit with her Ooh, this is a cozy couch so yeah other than that we haven't got much done we were supposed to go grocery shopping but we didn't actually make it and I don't feel like grocery grocery shopping here so we're gonna end up probably at like H-E-B or something. I mean, I like these chairs better than the thing the Yeah, you can't really tell. It's like a It's like a gray brown. Yeah. I think this one's wider though. Huh? This one feels wider across. Hello, good morning. It is Sunday, the 13th of February. We're at Walmart. We need a few things for school, like little Valentine's Day stuff. I need some stuff for Girl Scouts, and we need a few groceries because we didn't make it yesterday. I didn't vlog last night. I had to come home quick. We got we got home late with the girls. But we got a dining room table. That was the goal of yesterday. <laughs> but we were supposed to get some groceries in there. We just didn't make it, so it's fine. We got to visit with Nin, with my grandma, with my mom. And um, now we are getting our stuff. Thank you, baby. So let's get our stuff. They already have bathing suits out too, which is so fun. I think we did pretty good. It was like $180. I got some clothes. We got some groceries. And uh, what else? That's all we got, right? Laundry oh. stuff. Yeah, we got clothes. Did I say that? No. Clothes, laundry stuff, some groceries. Not too bad. What kind of cookie did you get? Adventure Fools. Show them what the Adventure Fools look like. Let's see. Wait. That's what the Adventure Fools look like. Mm -hmm. They're the new cookie, and I, of course, chose the Samoas. Which are my that. Maddie, can you record me, please? Mm -hmm. Actually, never. Mind. I got the Samoas, which um, are my favorite. And then mommy got both cookies because I like, love sharing. And then Autumn's cookies are way over there. It's blurry. There, she got the Girl Scout s'mores. We just finished a uh, two hour booth, but we stayed there for like an extra hour. And mommy, how, how would you put it? Like, did we sell a lot? I think y'all did good. Yeah. This was a slower booth. We were at a, outside of like a, meat market gas station one of Bianca's friends owns or something I don't know so it was a little bit slower but the girls did good so we only had one booth this weekend because it's Super Bowl weekend so no Walmart no HEB but next week we'll be at more booths so they're gonna hit their goal hopefully mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to camp. Mm -hmm. and it's gonna be fun Okay, so we're back from selling cookies. The girls did really good. They ate probably way too many cookies in the car, but it's fine. Uh, this is what I got. Not a whole lot of food, but we, uh, I got the home edit. I saw has, let me see, what exactly is this one? Um, I love the home edit. They have the, yeah, there you go. They normally sell at the container store and they have these containers that, I always get questions about very expensive so I guess they've come to Walmart in a 
cheaper brand, but the stuff still felt the same. So I got this five piece laundry edit pack. It was $25 for the pack, which is so much cheaper. Those bins that I just showed you are $16 a piece. So this is much better. It came with two of the everything stacking bins, one turntable and two of the everything narrow bins. So because the fridge is set up so much differently, you can see I'm losing a lot of space. Like these cannot be pushed up or down or anything else. So I'm losing a lot of space if I don't stack up. For instance, in my old fridge, I had these containers underneath like the small areas and it worked fine. But now, I mean, as you can see, they don't stack very well. And like the eggs, for instance, I'm losing all this space for the actual eggs. So I was like, well, let me see if I can find a few different containers. Like I love the way this lines up here. I have no problems with this here. And even my turntable fits fine here. But I wanted to see if I could get a few different containers that were shaped a little bit differently to put in here. And I do have a bunch of these drawers that I probably will do like one more here and then maybe one of the narrow bins that I have and use some of these bins out in the fridge or the freezer uh, out there. I know, you blink or bark so easily. So this is the one that was pretty cool because when it's dark, you can knock and it'll show you what you have in there. So I don't know what the point of that is, but it's kind of cool. So they had a whole bunch of different variety packs of what you could get together. Um, like I said, this was a laundry one, but they had a pantry, a fridge, a bathroom one for $25. So I'm gonna give that a go. We did some uh, kiwi fruit. This was like a little over $3 for the clam shells. So we got some kiwi and some strawberries, a big five pound thing of apples and some bananas, uh, some grapes. We got two big bunches of grapes just to get us through this week because we're trying to clean out our freezer. So we didn't really need a lot. So I just picked up, you know, fruit and stuff. We needed some uh, softener. So we picked up that. The rice checks and corn checks were a dollar a box, which I actually have to double check my receipt to make sure these were a dollar um but a dollar a box i figured hey that's awesome for cereal so i got those some bread we actually got two of these did y'all already eat sandwiches for lunch yeah we bought them for hoagie sandwiches so we got that some baby carrots some romaine lettuce and then i picked up a pack of premier protein they were not on sale at costco so i just ended up picking them these up um, there because I've been drinking coffee every day and then for Everly school uh, we picked up this little Chex Mix for her little treat and then for the girls Valentine Day cards um, I got the card stock for us to print them off I got them on Etsy so that they can make their things and then we also picked up there we got two things of milk so the one percent milk we got two things of creamer another Italian cream and then a regular Italian cream, um, one sugar-free, one not. Oh, oh, did you already drink your jaritos? Was it good? Yeah. Uh, we got a tamarindo jaritos and a pineapple. And then, what else did we get in here? Oh, we got the eggs. We got a five dozen pack of eggs. The um, lettuce, or the mixed greens, spring mix. Two packs of... Bologna. What else did we get, baby, in here? Nothing? Mm -hmm. I think that was it. Yeah, it was like 100 bucks just for that. The cost of food is insane, I swear. And then uh, I got some clothes. So all this stuff was on clearance for $3 or $5. So I got this Terran Sky black sweater. It's a 0X, which is normally a 14, but this looks really big. So, my size is really big, so I'm assuming this will fit. Normally $18, and it was on clearance for three bucks. So that was cool, so I picked up that, and then I picked up this dress for next year, was also $3, it's a Christmas dress, plaid. I think, I figured Maddie could probably wear it. Only $12 normally, and then it was $3 on clearance, so we got that one picked up this shirt 
I figured this would be good for fall. Um, they had very limited sizing. I got the 4X, which will fit nice and oversized the way I like it. So same thing. 17 bucks. It was on clearance for three. So I got that one. And then I got this cardigan. This is super cute. This was 17 also a 4X. They didn't have anything smaller in these, but again, the sizing is not that big of a deal because it's just a cardigan. So, it's like a brown and gray cheetah print, and it's open and it's nice and long. And I got these jackets for the girls. These were only $5. Nice. This is actually, I think, woman's uh, time and true. So they were in a small, size 4.6. Mm -hmm. So they're a little oversized on them. Normally $22, and they were on clearance for 5 So I got a white for Maddie, gray for Emmy. They didn't have anything for mm -hmm. smaller girls, so I didn't get them the smaller girls anything. Then, what else? They also had this Terra and Sky sweater, 16 bucks down to three. It's like a, a red cardigan, um, kind of like a three quarter length sleeve red cardigan. I figured that would be good for Christmas. And then last but not least, I don't even know if these are gonna fit. I feel like I'm more, all my jeans are, well I say last, but I actually think I got one more thing. Yeah, a pair of pants, these were also clearance free assembly down from 16 they're actually capris they're the 7 8 leggings um, but they're an extra small in women so I got these for Maddie if Emmy could probably wear them in the waist but they would be actual capris on her so they could share if they wanted to but I'm not sure I feel like since I've gained weight, I'm more towards the size 24. All of my jeans are a 22, and I can still get them on, but they're all old and probably stretched out. So I don't even know if these are going to fit or not, but they're the Signature Levi Strauss Mid-Rise Boyfriend. They're normally, I just saw the tag, $23.94, and they were on clearance for 3 bucks. And they're like a medium wash they're size 22 though so I don't know they have the knee out and they're kind of like a straight cut at the bottom so I'm gonna have to try them on I don't know exactly how they're gonna fit but for three bucks I was like oh they're gonna be like caprice type I guess but anyway I'm gonna try them on and see if they actually fit if not they won't be far from my reach so yeah, I thought that was all a pretty good deal. What else? Oh, I also got um, this stuff. But I kept it separate because it's for Girl Scouts. It's like to make first aid kits for the girls. So that was all we got at Walmart. Now we got to put it away. Okay, so this is what I have so far. These um, bins fit very nicely. I ended up putting the eggs back there because we can still reach back and grab eggs. And then here is yogurts. Had a little bit of the, um, I almost called them green beans, uh, grapes for like lunches and stuff. I have um, bigger packages of pepperoni and meat back there, sliced cheese, sandwich, meat, bologna, laughing cow cheese. I probably won't re repurchase the laughing cow cheese. No one really likes it except me, so I don't need like the huge thing of it. What, baby? Yes, that's ketchup. What's that? No, it's Italian dressing. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. <laughs> um, yeah, so this all, this is all works really nicely. It's honey mustard. Cheeses and stuff there. I have my veggies, fruits. I'm going to downsize this. I just need to use up some of the stuff that's here. Um, because that's definitely taking up a lot of space in the fridge. I have two of my things here with carrots some mandarins, um, grapes, and strawberries, and then my lettuce grapes. here. Grapes. grapes, yeah, don't touch it. Um, and then yogurts, so I have some gogurts and some Chobani flips, but regardless of whatever yogurt I have, I'll have it in here. And then leftovers are going to go up here, and bigger things like amreses, jalapenos are back there, 
Um, if we have something thawing like meat or whatever, it'll come, it'll stay back here. So go ahead, keep turning. See, so like some of this stuff is going to go like, I, I don't really buy yogurt too much like that. Um, when I'm done with the picante and the garlic, I probably won't purchase it like that again. Keep going. Those, those, um, cucumber pickles are going to be gone. That artichoke and stuff, like we can put those things down here. So I probably will either do some more bins like this or bins like this and um, just utilize the space a little bit better. I could even do one of these bins or a container back here in the back and then just keep one side for leftovers. So, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It definitely holds a full two weeks of groceries. So, and then we have plenty of space outside if we need it. Okay, can you shed it for mommy, please? Careful. Gentle. Thank you. I've been sitting at the computer. I edited a vlog to go live tonight. Or I edited it, uploaded, it's gonna go live tonight. And then I also imported my cash envelope uh, vlog, which I probably will edit a little bit later. I need to go down to downstairs and figure out what's for dinner, but I did get it imported into the computer, which is a big thing. So I am going to try and edit that later. In fact, let me go ahead and import it right now. Um, yeah, I'm almost caught up on vlogs because I have not been really editing or anything like that. Um, or filming, I should say. I have been editing. I haven't been filming very frequently. So I'm almost caught up on vlogs. Like, it's February 13th today. And I'm all the way up till January 16th. But the next vlog is almost going to get... It's I think it's going to get me into February. So I caught up pretty quickly. But that's because <laughs> I haven't been vlogging. Oh my gosh, and my computer needs an update. And I don't have time to sit here and update it. I have lots of laundry to do. Sunday is always the laundry day and I have all of the new clothes to fold and I didn't even make my bed today. And I think that's about it. I haven't really, I've been trying to keep up on housework. Like I come home every day after work and while the girls are eating dinner, while like I'm making dinner, waiting for it to finish cooking or whatever the case may be, I try and walk around and do one thing every day. So whether it's like wipe down all the counters or wipe the mirrors down in the house, in the bathrooms, wipe the sink, um, load the dishwasher, of course, unload the dishwasher. I was going through the um, laundry room, like the laundry room has kind of exploded out of control. We have so many shoes and things down there. Um, for a while it was going through closets and things like that. Like I went through the linen closet last week and got that pared down and downsized. Same thing, I've been having the girls, I've, tell, I've been telling them every day, go to your room, go to the playroom, find five things you're, you're not using. Whether it's all the way down to like underwear, socks that we cannot find a match for, or they just have been there. We dust with them and throw them away or we give them to the dogs to play with and then toss them. Um, what else, we, um, I guess yeah that's about it like so the girls even dried up markers like this is crazy but broken crowns um, you can always remold them there are places that will take broken crowns and um, dried out markers and things like that to recycle but if they go through their drawers and they're like oh I have this notebook and it's completely full we recycle it so every day and I've been doing it like one week on, one week off. They've been going around the house and finding things that don't belong. You know, or, or before TV time tonight, we all need to find five things that don't belong and we need to go put them back in their place. And sometimes we genuinely ha can find those things and sometimes we can't. And it's just been a nice little way for me to actually keep everything up because I cannot... Uh, keep it up by myself I'm just too busy I leave too early in the morning I get home too late at night and I think that's for anybody right that works full-time um I am not used to working full-time still after three months of doing it so it kind of sinks because I feel like I have no time during the week to do anything and on my days off I'm having to reserve that day off for appointments or errand running or just sitting at home and doing nothing and so because of that it does make it a lot harder for me to did it import yay now I can 
um, edit that later. It does make, make it a lot harder for me to want to get things done because I just want to relax on my days off. And so I've been considering hiring somebody to come clean like once a month. But I don't know, there's so much more things I can do with that money. And before I never really had the desire to do that, I would just like biannually have somebody come out and deep clean. But I really have been considering having somebody come like once a month, every four to six weeks to just keep the deeper things clean in between without me having to do it because I just don't have time. So it's like a time, how much is my time worth? Because I don't know how much a, somebody would charge me, like a housekeeper or a maid service would come to clean the house once a month, but is it worth my time to not do it every other week? I don't know. The girls help a lot. We have chores that we do all together, but sometimes I just, I just want to do things on the weekend and not come home and be like, oh, we didn't clean or oh, I didn't scrub the toilets. But like, so it has been super helpful to come home after work and before we even turn on the TV, before we bust out um, you know, like baths and pajamas and stuff for the night or whatever. We're, I'm getting dinner cooking. I have the girls already pulling the stuff from their backpack to do homework or whatever we have to do. And we're spot cleaning. So, or if it's as easy as I'm just finished peeing, right? And I get up and I clean the toilet. Uh, that's what it is. So I haven't had the time to just sit down and be like, today's bathroom day where we're, we're going to scrub all the bathrooms. Now I've been doing it like here and there, scrubbing the shower while I'm showering for the day, those types of things. I'm brushing my teeth at night while I'm brushing with my other hand, I'm scrubbing the sink and wiping down the counter. And it's just how I've been able to do it. And then the bigger things, like of course our downstairs, we have uh, Mr. Rover. He runs every day, sometimes twice a day, especially with the dog hair. He's running constantly and the cat hair too. Um, we chom chom roller the, is that a hair? It sure is. Chom chom roller the couch, even though the couch is like a total mess. Um, we got a new table yesterday, which is great. So like, I'm not even gonna worry about scrubbing the table anymore until we get the new one um, but then the floors can be deep cleaned you know like if we're getting rid of the table one day and those kinds of things we clean the fridge when we moved it out into the garage and now I'm trying to empty out the freezer so we can clean the freezer just like little things at a time um, while I'm sitting here editing I'll be folding clothes or like I'll get my duster and dust my desk while I'm sitting here at the computer editing or I will you know refill my uh, pill organizer. I've just been trying to as best I can multitask and make the best use of my time and Sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes it's not so, you know, that's all I can do and I can't I can't even imagine those of you that work full-time that have kids like us that you know Just don't have the time to be at home doing all these things um, Leave me some tips tips and tricks or message me on Instagram Let me know what you guys have been doing to keep your lives in order what kind of you know chore system do you go through same thing do you just kind of touch here and there do you hire somebody i'm curious because i'm really thinking that my time is worth the you know a couple hundred bucks that or i don't really know how much it would be i guess i need to price quote that out but for somebody to come once a month and just clean and that way the spot cleaning that i'm doing is sufficient because I know someone's going to come clean it deeply for me, you know? I don't know. I go back and forth. I really do. So, yeah. I'm glad to have gotten a vlog up, though. Because uh, this is only my second vlog for February. And it's already the 13th. So, that stinks. I just gave all the three little girls uh, a trim. And this is what I got off Everly's hair. Um, turn around, Mama. Let me see. I've been cutting their hair since COVID. And it's been perfectly fine. <laughs> They've been good. I even gave Maddie a little bit of bangs, like some side sweat bangs, very small trim. And Everly, clearly I gave her a small trim too, but it just makes no sense to go pay $15 a kid to trim literally that much off. So I'm getting real good at haircuts. Yes, I will. <laughs> 